keeping watch against Russia-backed separatists in the Donbass. These positions are held by soldiers from Ukraine's 72nd Brigade. There's supposed to be a ceasefire here, but three men from this unit were killed in January. One of them was 29-year-old Ihor Hichuk. RFERL correspondent Lev Kostek has documented the deaths of 11 Ukrainian soldiers in January. Через четыре дня возле Красногоровки пуля боевика стала причиной гибели Николая Давженко. 15 января также в результате пулевого ранения в голову недалеко от Авдеевки погиб военнослужащий 92-й бригады Алексей Кучкин. 19 января возле населенного пункта Золотое снайпер застрелил младшего сержанта Александра Сабаданюка. Обстрел со стороны боевиков в районе Красногоровки 26 января унес жизнь Евгения Щуренко, бойца 28-й механизированной бригады. Всего же за первый месяц 2020-го на Донбассе погибли 11 украинских военнослужащих. The casualties came in the month following a major diplomatic peace effort. In December 2019, the new Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, held his first face-to-face -face meeting with his Russian counterpart, Vladimir Putin. The leaders of France and Germany also took part, making it the first meeting the four countries had held at this level since 2016. The final communique committed to the full and comprehensive implementation of existing ceasefire agreements, which have been repeatedly broken. Russia very much wants to talk to Ukraine with the other side, which is the fire in the fire. They say that this is not Russia, that this is the DNR and LNR. Accordingly, if you want to stop the attack on the line of the line, if you want to stop the fire in the fire and make a stone in the fire, please talk to the other side of the fire. Ukraine has always refused to talk to the separatists, arguing that they are merely Russian proxies. But just days after the Four Nations summit, Putin called for direct dialogue. Responding to the losses on January the 26th, President Zelensky said this. Сьогодні на Донбасі загинуло двоє наших хлопців. Один під час обстрілу, другий підірвався. Це означає, що війна триває і що ще з більшими зусиллями треба намагатися її завершити. The agreement in December said the four countries would meet again within four months to discuss further steps. So far, the conflict in the Donbass has claimed more than 13,000 lives. Despite the big talk of a ceasefire, there's still little sign of an end to the fighting.